Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can subdivide your character's mesh and still keep the facial blend shapes to export to other 3D tools. Whether you have a low poly character, a realistic character, or even a scene prop, you can add mesh detail via the subdivision feature. Let's use our CC3 Plus character as an example here. In the Scene Manager, you can toggle the wireframe view of your character from the CC Base Body Mesh to view the standard CC3 Plus topology. To access the Subdivision option, simply enable the Smooth Mesh checkbox in the Smooth Mesh section of the Attributes tab of your Modify panel. The default subdivision level is 1, however you can tweak the level in real time by using the Real Time Slash Preview slider all the way up to 3. Generally 2 is the most efficient level for the visual results, but feel free to choose whatever works best for your model. Keep in mind that this slider is only for preview, and if you want to render or export your character, you'll need to set the level for the final render slider. You can also multi-select different parts of your character and apply subdivisions simultaneously based on what you have selected. If I disable Smooth Mesh and select my entire character from the Scene Manager, I can then return to the Modify panel and reapply the Smooth Mesh to subdivide all of the meshes simultaneously. Ok, let's export the character to FBX format now, which we can do from the File menu. In the Export Settings, you'll want to make sure that you select Use Subdivision Mesh here. Keep in mind that once you export a subdivided mesh to FBX, you won't be able to import it back in as a CC3 Plus character since the mesh is now more complex. If you're importing to Unreal, please be sure to use the Auto Setup plugin so all the materials and shaders will be set up automatically upon import. If we enable wireframe mode in Unreal, we can see that the character we imported has the more complex subdivided mesh. You can also take a look at the skeletal mesh to see that all of the facial blend shapes have been imported properly as well. You can also control your subdivided character mesh in real time in Unreal by using the Unreal Live Link plugin. If you want to do this, make sure that you have the smooth mesh set to the same subdivision level, and also ensure that you check the subdivision mesh checkbox in the Unreal Live Link settings in iClone. Once that's done, you can transfer the file over and see the real-time results in the two programs. Finally, let's export to USD for use in Omniverse. You can find that option from the file menu as well, and again, make sure that you check the subdivision mesh checkbox in order to export that version of your character's mesh. Subdivision is generally used for that little bit of extra detail when you have a closer camera perspective of your character. You'll see that the extra geometry allows a lot of jagged edges to be smoothed out which gives a much better visual result whether your character is meant to look realistic or more of a tune style. Even with the enhanced mesh, your character will still have the same facial animation capabilities, enabling beautiful looking close up facial performance and also more detailed scene props. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always be sure to check back on our YouTube channel for the latest updates. I'll see you in the next video.